Welcome to Sexpress. Today, let's focus into a fantastic feature of Wix, the dynamic pages. Whether you are creating a blog, an online store, or just a portfolio, dynamic pages can transform your site into a more interactive and engaging experience. This 2023 tutorial is designed for beginners, so let's dive into how to bring your Wix website to life. First of all, what are dynamic pages inside this actual Wix? So, uh, dynamic pages in the Wix are a powerful way to create pages that changed actually the content base and visitors interactions and data inputs they are perfect for creating individual product pages um, personalized profiles or any content barriers with it from user to user now let's start to understand how to set these up into wix websites first of all you wanted to set up your wix account and accessing the editor now make sure you have an wix account once you logged in you wanted to access into the wix editor where you can manage your site if you're new to Wix, you can spend a few minutes familiarizing yourself with the actual basic layout. As you can see, I'm into the Wix studio where you can create much more stuff than before. Now, I'm going to be choosing to creating a database from the dynamics here. Dynamic pages are powered by databases. Now into the Wix editor, uh, you wanted to go here into your actual workspace. I enter the edit side. We are now inside the editor of the Wix.com. Now let's try to focus and try to look out for the content manager or what everybody knows as the CMS. Here, what you can do is to define fields like text, like images and other types of data that your dynamic pages will display. So you can choose a actual dynamic page by using an actual preset. Now let's design our dynamic page. Now let's design here with menu and pages adding an actual dynamic page of a template that I just chose and I have a, a dynamic page list. Check out here what we have now. You wanted to choose a layout that suits of course your content. Uh, you can start from a template or design it from scratch. In our case we of course choose an actual template. So I'm going to close this now. Now this part where I wanted to customize my testing of the dynamic page. So first of all what I wanted to do is to add the unique fonts. I can see that there's different orders in here. So I have professional makeup, the price, the images, the order, duration, service description, different services, the services list, and so on and on. I can make this a little bit more smaller. I can manage the fields, for example, if I don't want to have different orders, I can disable them. Let's say instead I wanted to add the created date and I move this just right into the duration or above the duration actually and I can go into add the item. Now I can add new items into my actual services. And once I do have all of this already been added, I can go back into my CMS and here is make my collection number one. I can add another collection based, uh, whether that will be from artificial intelligence or to start from scratch. Let's try with artificial intelligence. We can set up collection fields and add some sample contents. For example, what is the name of my collection? Let's say for example, home, and here I have the decor name, the image, price, and stock, and the URL. Let's create this collection. And there we go. Always preview your dynamic pages to ensure they actually worked as expected and the content loads correctly. You can import the items, you can export this as a CSV file, or the permissions and the indexes are already in here. I can add this into my dynamic pages and whether you want to choose like an item page or like a list page, that's totally optional. And hit into add to the list, uh, to the list of course. And the page is now being created uh, automatically. So check out here where it says dynamic pages. We do have now home decals, services, and the service list. So this is how it should be looking my uh, actual website. So I can go here into add elements to add something else. I can add different sections. I can manage my pages in here. So I have my dynamic page and I can delete a collection if I don't want to see this anymore. Remember, of course, you can always go back and make changes if you needed to. You can go into more actions and then later on, I can delete all of the services by selecting them all, delete it, delete, and good to go. Now I'm going to go back, of course, into my CMS. I choose my collections. Let's say that I just wanted to focus into the home decor. So I delete this collection, home decor, and here are my item list. So as you can see, here to breathe more. And here's all the information about my actual store. So as you can see, it is actually working well. Here is my dynamic page. 
and there you actually have it. A beginner guide to creating dynamic pages into Wix. Once again, remember that you wanted to do any kind of changes, you can obviously do all of them directly here into the website editor before you hit into the preview and make sure that you have now the great uh, mobile site so you can have this mobile friendly and uh, looking great into your actual phone. So guys, uh, if this tutorial was helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Zexpress for more Wix tips and tricks. Do you have any questions or experience with dynamic pages? You can let us know in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you on a brand new video here to Zexpress. See you soon.